How does the ABS modulator know that there's a short or open in this wire? We're going to find out how next. This video is sponsored by BCA Bearings, the number one supplier of OE quality hub assemblies. Visit BCABearings.com for more information. In our last video, we talked about ABS code C1158 and how it activated once the customer was driving for a little while because it disturbed the air gap on the wheel speed sensor. Well, today we're going to talk about wheel speed sensor codes that can happen the second the customer turns the key and starts moving in the vehicle. In the catalog of generic codes for wheel speed sensors, there are more than 45 codes depending on the manufacturer and the type of failure of the circuit. These typically occur when the vehicle is first started and the ABS system does a self-diagnostic with bias voltage to all the wheel speed sensor circuits. If this ABS modulator sends out five volts and it only gets a volt and a half back, it knows that there's high resistance in the circuit. But let's say there's 2.5 to three volts coming back and that's within inside the normal range. It's gonna say, hey, everything's fine with that circuit. Let's go ahead with ABS operation. So when is this bias voltage sent out? It's usually within the first two to three seconds of the key cycle of the vehicle. In other words, it knows long before the customer is able to put it into drive that there's an issue with the ABS system and disables it. But bias voltages also serve another purpose. They help to protect the module. Some of these circuits have 12 volts going through them. If it's grounded out, well, it could damage the circuits inside of the ABS modulator and damage the whole unit. By sending out that low five volt signal, well, it knows to test the circuit to see if something's wrong to help prevent that damage that could occur to the electronic circuits. So how does this apply to wheel bearings and hub units? Well, it's critical. As part of the inspection process, you scan the ABS modulator for codes. See if there's any open shorts or erratic signals coming from the wheel speed sensors. This way, when you install the new unit that hopefully comes with a brand new wheel speed sensor, that you're doing it the right way and the customer, when they leave the shop, their ABS system will be functioning. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.